very excited and I'm, and I'm, over, I'm overjoyed because, I mean, we have made history, Ambassador. We are the true son of the soil, the man who is loved by the Liberian people. Has just been announced president elect of the Republic of Liberia. So I'm so happy. First time in my life to feel so happy like this because we have been in the struggle for 12 years. 2005, we were defeated. 2011. But it encouraged us because we know we, the young people of this nation, were going to rewrite history like the children of South Africa.
Thank you very much. I see the smile pin on your face. What does it mean? Well, today is a joining of six years. Another six years, 12 years that finally come to an end. And so the joy that you see on my face is a reflection of being in the opposition and today we can say that we successfully landed at the executive mansion. There were barrage of criticism against Ambassador Weir that he was not free to become a president in five, that the scripted he was in hand. But the results from the December 26 election have shown that my majority of the Nigerian people voted for me. What does it mean? I will tell you, those that saw and spoke about Ambassador Weir of being inept to management, I will tell you those people academically, I will question their academic credentials because an athlete is one of the fastest thinkers to be able to sit and critically and instantly analyze a position to move on a perimeter. It, it has to, you, you have to have a high IQ. And so I did not listen to that. And that's why the majority of the Liberian people did not listen to those lazy arguments. And that's why the people overwhelmingly, with, 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 with vibrant and enthusiasm, went out there and voted the choice, the future, the hope, the voice for Liberia. The euphoria is hard. Everybody is but there are still challenges. Why should we expect from the CDC led government? In fact, what would be the CDC led government priority? There were challenges before, and there will always be challenges. But I can tell you the CDC government destined for change. And the hope that we kept alive in the last 12 years is still in the peace that all Liberians can say today, Liberia peaceful. I can assure you from his campaign messages that he spoke about education, that we must get to the point where a young boy or young girl should not worry about paying wired fees, but the government of Liberia should be able to take hold the responsibility to educate our citizens. This is what the coalition for democratic change is going to give to the Liberian people access to proper health care where a person will walk into the hospital and it, without money they can be treated and later on they can pay and even government can subsidize some of these uh, bills that will derive from our people now having the full financial potential to take care of themselves medically. But I can tell you for sure that the hope that the Liberian people kept the dream and, the, and their many wishes have come to a full realization today. And I, I can assure you that in our modern democracy, Liberians will get to the point where we will seek referendum to amend the constitution to have Ambassador George Mane we are sitting as our president for third term. You can never imagine this is a prediction and I can tell you it will come to pass. Why should we amend the constitution? Well, I will, I will tell you because his leadership will be so overwhelming to the point that Liberians will wish... Are we going to expect milk and money from the CDC government? You are talking about a powerhouse who have become the president. We are not just talking about... Is it administration going to put the money in the pocket? Hey, I am telling you, we are talking about a powerhouse that have now become the next president of Liberia. This country is so small. With the resources, the natural resources that Liberia have, and with the expertise and the individuals that are gathered around Ambassador George Managuia, I tell you, you will soon see the country called Liberia that they say she is the if first you know, child in Africa. This is going to have take the political will power to prosecute corrupt officials. Of course, certainly, there will be no corrupt individual that will go unpunished in this government. If you invest the government money, we will take you through the proper process of our, our legal system. And if you are found guilty, you will restitute and then you will face the full punishment of the law. There will be no one individual that will be bigger than Liberia. And corruption has been a problem in our society. And so Ambassador Weir has spoke about it over and over. And again, if they gave you an opportunity to serve, serve with distinction because I did and I'm your leader. I served the Liberian people as peace ambassador 
when I was leaving, I called for an audit. They audited the remaining money was turned over to government. That what you call proper management. So those lazy political propagandists that were gallivanting like little political birds around here, the story has been settled, the deal has sealed, and the president will be announced. Representative Young Blood, congratulations, you were re-elected. You are now looking for an appointed position as a representative in the CDC led government. What will you do to make him show that this government succeeds? I will be pushing the president's legislative agenda because I sit in the chambers. And I will make sure that those legislative agendas that are in the interest of the Liberian people will be well articulated on the floor and getting endorsement from our colleagues. Off record, the party has begun 21 days of celebration. I think it will begin with a meeting. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Excellent. I want to actually a fair question. Let's talk to you. We didn't have a media. I know that guy was a boss. I know she got Nothing. What is the time? No time. You go and pay. No way. Go and pay. No time. But I declare the man said, I'm going to be you and the the I want you to go. Young blood is still going through. I will say, he just put into the library people that he has served like the Liberian people. And the honorable thing that he could do was to accept what the Liberian people have said to their vote. In a country where we have civil wars like 15 years ago, what explains the changes to a peaceful, country, democratic, where the process was very clear, very uh, fair. How can we explain that? What has happened? I will tell you certainly, from the 15 years of civil war to the transition that you see, a peaceful Liberia, there is one person that being the reason why Liberia is where it is today. And that person is the one that the Liberian people have elected. It's not because he had been pronounced uh, you know, the winner of the elections is because after our 50 years of civil war, we went to elections in 2005, he felt disenchanted, but he didn't take the guns 
as compared to the records of our history in the past where people felt disenchanted politically and they took other routes and their routes they took were violent and lives were lost. But he didn't do that. Repeatedly in 2011, one day towards the second round, live bullets were shot at our political party headquarters, but yet and still he understood something was bigger than everything and that thing was Liberia. And so today what you see is an embodiment of the heart of the man that the people have overwhelmingly elected today. And that's why you see a peaceful transition because the people have come to realize who Ambassador George Weir is, what kind of man he is, and how he's prepared to be able to change their story. It's about time that Liberians tell their own story, then people tell them the story of Liberia. Thank you very much. Great. So, we got an announcement. Uh, the president is not going to talk to the press until the final announcement uh, for next. So, uh, once we are ready, we want to let you guys know where to assemble. But I think it's good for you guys to be here. And then when we are ready, we will just maybe it's just going to be the conference room. I don't know where, but it's, you know, we just want you to know that he's not going to talk to the press until after the announcement. So, you know what time there? Uh, neck, neck is usually for 545, so you stay a long time from now. Yeah. Yeah. And we address the people first on uh, uh, I'm not too sure, but once the announcement is made, uh, somebody will be coming to inform you about the next step. Oh, okay. yeah. he's not speaking there first before anything. He's not doing anything before the next yeah. No, no. Yeah. That's one of I want to say, I want short break until we can access the conference room where the Ambassador George will be addressing the king who is a partisan or the other come outside to talk to the government at the same time let us just outside and see what is going on. Thank 
JV. Yeah. TV. Thank you. They, they want to take some video here. Don't worry, I will control them. Hey, I will Let the people be sure. So we have, uh, for the sake of the audience, can you introduce yourself? For I'm the sake of the audience, can I'm Buema JV Buema, uh, head of social media communication and propaganda strategies for the mighty Incommentable Coalition for Democratic Change. Can you tell me your can you explain your feelings since yesterday? Any I feel results? I feel joyous. This is a moment that we all have been yearning for for the last year. We struggled for the eight. We lost friends in the process. We lost close relationships in the process. People thought we didn't deserve it. But the majority of the people believe in what we preach and they were able to buy our idea and our messages made sense to those people. And they were able to resonate those confidence that are reposing our messages through their vote on both October 10th and December 26th. Thus, giving the pathway for Ambassador George Manor we are to be the president of the Republic of Liberia. We are very happy. We are thankful to God for this moment in life. We are hoping and very hopeful that Liberia will never be the same again. We are very confident that this country, Liberia, will be a paradise in a moment of time. We are encouraging our supporters to also be able to manage their expectations. And it's not going to come automatically, but with time and with the support to our president-elect, Ambassador George Manawia, this country will be a paradise where we all will live and have a joyous time as a one Liberia nation. Uh, do you have any message for your opponent? My message for my opponent is that for now, if I don't have an opponent, we are all one Liberia. We are calling on them to join us to see how we can build this country together. You don't have to be president before you can develop Liberia. Ambassador George, we has won the presidency. Let us all rally behind him. And you don't have to work in government before you can develop this country. You have to contribute your little resources here towards the far march of this nation. We must never allow Liberia to be the same again. We must all work together in the next six years to make this country a nation that we all can be proud of, a country where we all will feel comfortable to live. I want to say a very big thanks to all Liberians who participated in this election and to those who did not participate. I want to say this government will not be a CDC government, it will not be a United Party government, and it's going to be a government for the people of Liberia. And we all will be governed well. There will be no suppression of freedom of speech. The people will be allowed to express themselves well as long as they are doing it within the confines of the law. Everything will be done here within the confines of the law. We want to say thank to all of our people. We are so joyous for the demonstration of your hope and for the resilience that you maintained for the last 12 years to ensure that Ambassador Georgia will become the president of this nation. We want to say thanks to you all. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was nice speaking with you on TMC. Okay, for now, we will be going for a short break until we Hey guys, 
Have you found Lexi like, that we actually at yet? You've got to get this app. It is so easy to find out in Navigate. This is where I get all my entertainment news. From music to movie, sports and even politics. They give you all the juice. Visit Google app now and turn on the lab directly to the Okay, this is Hot TV Channel 12 live, bringing you uh, exclusive footages and images from the uh, from the National Elections Commission uh, headquarters in 9th Street, uh, Senko, and you see jubilation of uh, seditions, and they have high up uh, in the air the National uh, Youth Wing Chairperson of the CDC, uh, Mr. Jefferson Tambakoji. Uh, he's been raised up very high in the air. And you can hear, you can hear the chants, you can hear the slogans in the air. Uh, you can hear the slogans in the air of uh, jubilant part, uh, partisans of the CDC immediately after the announcement of preliminary results uh, of the National Elections Commission it's all happening right here at the National Elections Commission headquarters. It's all happening right here. It's all happening at the National Elections Commission headquarters uh, in 9th Street, Sinkor. Uh, jubilant pa uh, partisans of the Coalition for Democratic Change have paraded the streets uh, of uh, Central Monrovia. Jubilant uh, supporters of the CDC as seen parading the streets all across central Monrovia uh, as preliminary results preliminary results uh, from the over 5,390 uh, polling stations across the country uh, just minutes after preliminary results have been announced uh, by the National Elections Commission okay All right, this is Hot TV Channel 12, and we're bringing you exclusive uh, images from the streets of Monrovia as preliminary elections, uh, runoff election results have been announced, and we're taking a tour across the principal streets of Monrovia to bring you exclusive footages and images uh, from the principal streets of Monrovia. And this is the National Elections. I'm very excited and I'm, I'm overjoyed because I mean we have made history, Ambassador. We are the true son of the soil, the man who is loved by the Liberian people. Has just been announced president in left of the Republic of Liberia. So I'm so happy. Hey, we're going to rewrite history like the children of South Africa. So I'm feel. I'm, I'm overly excited. I'm overly excited. Seriously. Because we have taken our nation back into our hands. 